Leaving Waynesville, going back toward home. From the last video, you can see that I'm now able to route down this road. Um, it no longer thinks that that bridge doesn't exist, and I did not get a new map update. So, um, yeah, we're still on the 2022.44 uh, uh, map data, just like uh, on 11.3.6. But now, we can actually go down this road. Okay, so that was interesting. It turned into the middle turn lane and then got over. It's never done that before. Uh, actually, sometimes it will pull all the way to the right lane when it makes that turn. All right, thanks to that truck stopping in the middle of the road. We had a gap and the car took it. And really need to speed up. And see, we should get over. Um, and it's not going to, it's gonna try to ride this line. Wow. Car was not merging and was speeding up just as the lane was ending. All right, so that's really bad behavior. Um, not only was it not getting over, uh, and it was gonna just ride the end, but it started speeding up beside that car that was in the lane um, as my lane was ending. And I put on my turn signal and it still was not getting over. Um, and yeah, it just does not do well with merges still really bad behavior all right so i'm hoping though there is a lot of traffic but i'm hoping it, it it'll do again what it did um yesterday here which is follow this construction line this is also not fixed in 11.4.1 um so yesterday it did try to follow this construction line which is a few years old um, so this is not a map data issue, this is, it's following this line. You'll see it right here. So it looks like it might be an exit lane, but it's not, and I know that. Nope. Car was following construction lines onto the shoulder. So this is the exit. If there wasn't a bunch of traffic around me, I would have let it just go into the shoulder just to see what it would do. Um, but yeah, there were plenty of cars around me. Um, so I'm not gonna let the car do anything weird.
All right, so they've got a sign here, as I pointed out before. It says max speed 20. Um, so manually lower it to 20. The car eventually is going to need to be able to read those kinds of signs. That's my fault. Um, forgot to remove this stop, and now I can't. Um, all right. All right, it was just about to go, just as that car, which is, and then it started going again as soon as I enabled it. Um, I don't know why. Oops, I missed my chance to send a message. Um, yeah, the, the car was obviously coming to come straight through the intersection, and um, my car was going to turn in front of it, and then when I re-enabled FSD, it started pulling forward again. I don't know if it was going to stop, but it was already edging into the intersection. Um, didn't want it to move further into the intersection with a car coming. Um, it might have been safe technically, uh, but for the car coming, they might think that I'm pulling out right in front of them. See if if it successfully makes this turn. Um, this will be yep. It angled correctly and perfect again. That is five out of five attempts that have been not just successful but perfect. Um, car does oops, car does not need to stop right here. This is not an intersection. The road just makes a 90 degree turn. Okay, so um, that's five out of five so far um, in different conditions, you know, with traffic, without, and at night. And so far it has been just perfect. I mean, human-like even, um, not just, you know, clears the wall perfectly but the way it's it angles itself and and curves into that road is exactly how I would drive um, so I am very very pleased with that um, so I'm actually I didn't set a waypoint at the school like I usually do and uh, I'm not gonna go up that road um, so yeah I mean there are some things that have definitely regressed and that kind of sucks. Um, there are some improvements too. Um, I'm just hoping that when the next point release comes out and it goes wider that we don't see more regression like we have in the past. But uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.